Sit over there. <coughs> Sir, are you all right? I am now. Do either one of you want to tell me what this is about? I, just give me your phone number and I'll tell you everything you want to know over the phone. You have two options. The first one is you get up and you go home. The second is I slap the cuffs on you, I bring you in and I'll let you sleep it off in the drunk tank. Choose. I like the handcuffs and I like Turn the around home. and walk away. I'm not kidding. 1448 North Catalina Street. What's your name? John. That's the name you're going with? Let's try this again. What is your name? John. Get up. Turn around and put your hands in the trash can. I'm gonna search you. How much have you had to drink tonight? You know, I don't recall. Like I said. Well, I'm placing you under arrest. What for? Public intoxication. Assault. It's one guard. You mean Travis can handle one guard? I got rid of my piece. Want a piece? I'll get you a piece. It's the easiest job you'll ever do. You go in, you grab what you can, and you bring the car around. That's it. I can't. I'm trying to keep my nose clean. Your nose clean? But part of what I'm saying makes you think that I'm asking. That you actually have a choice in the situation, because guess what? You don't. You owe me. Pick you up at five. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Five. stopping. Get out. Why? Do you recognize me? No. What is this? Yeah, Shut up. It. I'm going to ask you one more time. Look at me. Do you recognize me? Seconds. Wallets and cell phones right now. I'm not gonna ask again. Do it. Faster. Come on, hurry up. Now! Don't touch her! Pick it up. You. Shut your mouth or I'm gonna shut it for you. You understand me? You didn't have to hit her, man. What are you doing? I said pick it up. Pick it up. Never yeah, pick up the purse. Hey, grab that ring around her neck. No. Please. Move your hand. I'm begging you to take it. I quit playing around. Let's go. Hurry up. Move your hand. Now. Stop. 
Go. You okay? I'm not gonna apologize to you. Good. What are the odds? The irony is, I never even once thought about being a cop until that night. So maybe I should thank you. You have no idea what you did. We were kids, for God's sakes. We were 18 years so old. So was I. So that makes it okay? You put a gun in my face. Do you know what that feels like? What that does to a person? You got nothing to say? I begged you not to take my necklace. Begged you. It was the last thing my mother gave me. And like the heartless bastard that you are, you took it. It was a mistake. That you didn't feel the slightest bit sorry for. Yes, I did. That wasn't the first time that you robbed somebody, though, was it? No. I needed money. I needed quick money. Not that it matters, I don't do that anymore. You people disgust me. an effect. What? The relationship between a single action and its results. That night ten years ago, we had already made it out to our car. But we went back to the restaurant because Deborah forgot her cell phone. So you see, you have an event or an action, which in this case was us going back for the cell phone. And then you have the results of that single action which was you and your friend. I still have it. Have what? Your ring. You're messing with me. No. when I said I felt bad. The look you gave me. I told Mike, the other guy, that I must have dropped it while we were running. I had your address for obvious reasons. I put it in an envelope. I put a stamp on it. All I had to do was walk it down to the mailbox. I just couldn't do it. I can take you to it. The thing is, I give it to you. You cut me free. Look, I'm in a lot of trouble. I gotta leave town. I promise if you cut me loose, you will never see me again. I can't stay here. What kind of trouble are you in? We doing this or not? Where is it? You've done well for yourself. Where is it? Second drawer. Someone's here. No! Ah, uh, don't. <laughs> don't. I know you're bringing company home. <laughs> See, this, this is not good. Put the gun down. Nah. Come on, sweetheart. Let's not do the, uh, 
No cop talk, all right? It's not gonna work. You. I wasn't asking when I told you the time and place to meet me tonight. <laughs> and then you just don't, you don't show up. Not being very much of a uh, team player, is it? Malcolm, I can make it up. You can't make it up. Right in this little uh, scenario you got going on here, of all the days, you come home with a fucking cop. Do you think though? She is. Uh, <laughs> she is sexy. You. It's okay, I wasn't sleeping. This came for you. I was just gonna leave it on the table with the others. I'll take it. sent us down this path, but it was your actions at the end of the path that saved my life, and for that, I am grateful. Cause and effect. I don't know what you told them, but I'm no longer a person of interest, so I'm leaving to a place I don't yet know, but it will be somewhere where our paths will hopefully not meet again. I am sorry for the pain I caused you. John.